What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in to the first episode of Chainsaw Estates, which is what I call my house. And this show is about all the cool stuff you'll find inside. It's basically the only reason you watch that show Pawn Stars, is to see cool stuff that you've never seen before. There's no contrived storylines and there's no experts. You just got me. So the first piece we're talking about is this little guy by the name of Puddles. He's actually one of the first pieces I got that started me down the path of collecting weird and strange oddities. So the legend of Puddles states that he was given as a gift to little Tommy Johnson of Boise, Idaho for Easter in 1957. They were playing together in his room when his cat Tinkerbell came in and swiped Puddles' head clean off. Everyone thought Puddles was dead, but to their amazement, he got up and started walking around like nothing had happened. Timmy's mother, who was a nurse at a local hospital, decided to insert a small glass tube down into his esophagus in order to keep it open and be able to feed Puddles. So in every episode, I plan on giving a shout out to the artist on every piece that I review. But like I said, this is one of my first pieces and I honestly don't remember even where I got it or who the artist was. So this little guy is going to remain a mystery. So one of the more popular pieces on our Instagram feed, a lot of where do you get that, how can I get my own, are these cool little animated horror banks. So first we have the zombie bank, which is reminiscent of uh, Evil Dead, one of my favorite films. Red Skeleton. So these coin banks are from Japan, but you can actually pick them up on Amazon for about 25 bucks each. And they actually just released a new Godzilla version, which I plan on picking up. They're pretty beefy. They're a little bit bigger than uh, you would expect. So it's definitely worth the $25 price tag. So thanks for tuning in to the first episode. If you see anything that you like in the background or more importantly on our Instagram feed, just give us a comment and I'll try to work a review into the very next episode.